Hi, this is Mark Hibben for Technomicon Media with a quick video walkthrough of Marvell RAID setup on the Gigabyte X79 UD5 board. Once in the BIOS, you want to go to the Peripherals menu item and enter the Marvell ATA controller configuration. Then for the controller that you plan on using for RAID, just set that to RAID mode and note that we already have the pair of disks installed that we plan on using for the RAID array. Then you just save and exit. And when you exit, the system will automatically reset. Now when the system reboots, you'll get a status screen for the Marvell BIOS and you want to enter that by pressing Control M. Once you're in the Marvell BIOS setup, it's pure DOS, there's no UEFI, and you're back to using keyboard controls such as arrow keys. You just want to arrow over to the RAID setup, and it'll show the two disks that are free, and then you just go ahead and create your virtual array. You have to select both disks, I don't know why, since obviously there isn't much choice there. And then under the Create VD menu item, you get to select the RAID type, the stripe size, the cache mode, and then name your disk. Once you've filled in all the information that the BIOS needs, it'll ask you to create the disk, and you go ahead and answer yes or why. And now you have your, your RAID 0 disk online, and you can just exit the setup. Now you're ready to install Windows, and as usual, we have boot priority set to the DVD so that you can boot from the Windows installation disk. After you go through the usual Windows startup, You accept the license terms and become a slave to Microsoft forever. And now you can go ahead and do a custom install. And of course, it doesn't see the drives. And at this point, this is when you have to load the driver. For this particular installation, we went ahead and used the Gigabyte driver disk that came with the motherboard. That required swapping out the Windows installation disk for the driver disk. And we go ahead and do that at this point. Click OK, and Windows starts loading the drivers. Then in a little bit of artificial stupidity from Microsoft, we get this warning message saying that no signed device drivers were found, forcing us to go ahead and manually browse for the appropriate drivers. You find the uh, Marvell folder and then select the 64 bit drivers. At which point, Windows loads the drivers and you just select the uh, RAID controller driver. Clicking Next and uh, Windows will actually load the driver. And then finally see your one terabyte RAID system. And there it is in all its one terabyte glory. At this point you just want to partition it as you see fit. I usually like to split the uh, drive roughly in half. Windows creates some extra partitions that Windows 7 needs to boot. You just leave those alone. And go ahead and create the second partition. And now you're good to go, or you would be, except that you're getting this message saying that Windows can't be installed. And it can't be installed on either of the partitions, and you're wondering, well, gee, what's wrong? 
Actually, there's really nothing wrong, except that the gigabyte driver disk is still in the optical drive, and all you have to do is swap that out with the uh, original Windows installation disk. Once you do that, the error clears and you can go ahead and install Windows as normal.